everyone, I'm Trevor, and today we are back at SeaWorld San Diego. It's been a little while. We're gonna check out the mobile ordering, and Amy and I are here on a date today, no kids, which means we're gonna ride some roller coasters. Roll it, coasters. Now let's get going. There are reminders all around the park that Electric Ocean is going on right now. If you would like to see everything that Electric Ocean has to offer, I'll go ahead and link to that video right now. I'll also put it at the very end of this video uh, so that you can keep watching and check out Electric Ocean. So Amy does not like Electric Eel. I don't think I'll be able to pull her on that ride this morning. <laughs> so we're headed to Emperor now. Uh, it's like five minutes after park opening. It, it, we're gonna have probably like no line. What happened to the sea on Octo Rock? It's gone. Octo Row K. <laughs> that right there is why Amy doesn't want to ride it. She doesn't like the backwards portion. The backwards portion even gets you on Everest, doesn't it? I also don't like the fact that you're hanging and relying all of your weight on the harness at the top when you flip upside down either. It's okay, that's not the worst part. Yeah, but the backwards is like, ah. Plot twist, already this early in the morning. Emperor's close. Like, well, they just said that it's broken right now, but we'll see. Uh, we'll check back a little bit later. I guess we're gonna go ahead to Manta. While we're over here at Journey to Atlantis, it's helpful to mention these cannons. We showed you these cannons in a recent video. They spray the people on the ride. They recently switched to a card rather than tokens. And it's a and dollar? It's a dollar. A dollar? Wow. It used to be like 25 cents. Uh, it was like 50, but um, even so, we have some tokens we were planning on using here no, that we from the last time. And now the tokens are gone, so we can't use them. We're out $2 in tokens. <laughs> so while we're walking back to Manta, we're gonna check on the mobile ordering. Now, if you were at Disneyland, the park's open, you could place a mobile order for further out in the day. And I wanna see if that's possible here at SeaWorld. So I open up the app for SeaWorld and I have to navigate down here to dining. Click on that, find the place that I wanna go to, which is Hibisco and then hit the order food button at the bottom. Now, once that screen pops up, it tells me that the vendor is currently closed and I'm clicking and nothing's happening. So it's, it's not working yet. You have to wait until the vendor is open before you can even do anything on the app. Here we go. We're headed to Manta. Hardly anybody here in line. I mean, there's people. Oh, look, there it goes again. Um, but we shouldn't have much of a wait, which is nice. Maybe we'll ride it twice. I was about to say, I don't know. Here we go. To the restaurant, Santa. Go. Feel the rush on Manta? <laughs> Amy's fixing her hair. <laughs> yeah, just gonna get messed up again. It, uh, we're waiting for the front row this time, and it's really humid here. Like, I'm not used to San Diego feeling this humid. Yeah, but East County has been humid the last couple days. Yeah. Like, for that to be humid means this has to be extra humid. <laughs> on Manta. 
I think I just made up for the whole past year of not writing this because I'm always the one holding the stuff. We, we wrote it three times. So In she, like 20 minutes. Yeah, she got her fill. Well, the longest we waited why it was 20 minutes is because uh, we waited for the front row the last time. But otherwise, it was pretty much a walk on the whole time. Uh, and of course, it's first thing in the morning, but it's still surprising. It is yeah. August, the middle of summer. You bet a lot of schools go back next week. I know, but that means that people should be getting their last minute vacations in, wouldn't you think? I'm just, I don't know. When we came in through the driving lane this morning, I was expecting backups. Nope. Drove straight up to a ticket window or a parking booth. It's like, wow, it's pretty empty here than, than I'm expecting. Like. I think it was busier back in June than it was right now. Yeah, but maybe that's when everyone took their vacation because they were like, it's summer, we're finally doing our vacation. Yeah, it's possible. That makes sense. Five minutes until lunch place is open and uh, there's a lot of people congregated over here at the Otter Spotlight place. Otter presentations at 1045, that's why. We reintroduced a lot of sea otters over the years and, and those sea otters are now reproducing otters of their own. In fact, Abby, her most recent addition, is not on her placard yet. So, if you're here for the otter encounter, there's one individual I think that's signed up. We'll be checking you in to the left of the exhibit at about 10 after 11. Only one but we person do have another for the otter, otter encounter? encounter? 15 today. It is seconds before 11, and the line at Hibisco is actually already pretty queued up. Of course, we're going to try the mobile order, hopefully see if that works. Uh, we'll let you know. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out again. We're going to go into all dining, Hibisco Modern Mexican, order food. And it does not say that the vendor is closed now. So I'm gonna click into the rice bowl. Oh, yep, it'll let me scan through stuff now. I'm gonna hit grilled chicken, cause that's what I want. Uh, choose your style. I don't, know. I don't know, the hibisco, I guess, I don't know. Uh, I like the avocado crema, that's fine. Cotijo, uh, yep, I like the cotijo. Modifiers, no corn. No. Oh, where's the... Um, no, no pickled onion. Isn't it pickled onion? Yeah. So no pickled onion. No slaw. I don't like slaw either. Uh, but otherwise, everything else should be fine. Add to cart. Okay. Now we're going to try something else. I just changed my mind. I would write, I would prefer carne asada. So can I change my option? Yes. Edit carne asada. Okay. And I just got to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Hit edit item now so that was pretty easy to update what did i get last time did i get pork or i don't remember or okay I get steak. Is it the same price? so 34 10 yeah same price okay. so i placed my order and after the point in which you saw on the screen there it asked me to put in my name my phone number and my email address and then it said uh, i put in my credit card of course as well it said order confirmed and there's there's no way to cancel as far as I could tell. Like at Disney, you could cancel a mobile order if you haven't clicked I'm here yet. Uh, and there's also no time windows to select for this as well. You just, as soon as you place the order, it goes into the queue and you know, you've ordered it. So be sure you have what you want before you pay for it. Um, but I got a text message immediately after hitting confirm and it says that it will let me know when my order's being prepared, that I can go enjoy the park uh, and then probably about two minutes later, uh, we actually stopped and, and talked with one of our viewers who, who saw us. So thank you so much, Chris. Uh, thanks for coming and saying hi. And just a shout out to you. But uh, once I was done chatting with him, I got another text that told me my order is now in the queue and is being prepared to stay handy to the Hibisco. That way, when I get a text to go pick it up, I can you know get there right away. So uh, if you're going during a busy time, more than likely you can enjoy the area around here. You know, go to the dolphins, go to the sea otters. Uh, I wouldn't get in line for Manta if it's like a 45 minute wait or anything, but you can mill around the area. You don't have to sit out here like we're doing right now. I just got a text that my order's ready for pickup, so now I'm coming over here. Oh, it looks like this is probably me right here. So the uh, lady off to our left here who is just waiting, she just ordered. She was the person who we would have been standing behind before we mobile ordered. Um, so just to give you an idea as to how quickly food got prepared there. So we asked what the difference between the 
uh, hibisco and traditional style is. And over here we have the hibisco style, which comes with corn and black beans. And then on the right, we have the traditional style, which comes with guac, jalapenos, and a uh, pico or like a salsa type thing. Um, and so it's like, we kind of want to blend. Like I love the corn. The corn is one of my favorite things. And I would love to have some jalapenos and Amy wants some black beans. So I think we're just going to do some swaparoos here between the two. We just finished up our food and check this out. They put out this little um, stanchion thing. So it tells you that you can order online. That's super cool. Uh, so thoughts on the, the mobile ordering system? Oh, yeah. It at least saved waiting in line. Yeah, exactly. Nice. I love that. You yeah. didn't have to wait in line. Uh, and I thought that the online or mobile ordering gave you so many more options that you wouldn't know about if you just stood in line there. Because I've ordered from here now, this is my third or fourth time ordering from Hibisco, and I just discovered so many more like customizations to the food. Yeah. Uh, while we're talking about customizations though, why don't you mention what you were thinking so, at the table? So the only downside of it, so when we clicked into it, it was like, do you want traditional or Hibisco? It didn't say what they were. So like we had to ask when we picked up our food, like which one we each ordered one, and we had to ask when we picked it up, like which one's which. But we were kind of frustrated in the sense that like if you had food allergies or anything, you wouldn't even know what you were getting. So we wish that they just had a list of everything that was on it and you could like unclick what you don't want or click what yep. you do want. So. They should have had a list of all the items listed there. There were five that we counted. They could have listed all five, said pick three. And then if you wanted all five, it could have added you, you know, an extra dollar for each one. Like that's an extra way for SeaWorld to make money too. See? See, people need to be thinking about this when they make their apps. Because if you, um, when we ate it, like we actually swapped some of our ingredients because there were some of Travers that I was like, oh, I want that. And then he looked at mine and was like, I want your jalapenos. So, yeah. yeah, yep, yep, yep. They've got a variety of these new little like banners hanging over here by Dolphin Adventures. I love it. I just, I, I'm a sucker for a good graphic design and that looks fantastic. Right now we're looking to go redeem one of our August past member rewards. So we're gonna go find a kiosk to print it off but there is a free sea lion feeding. Uh, what were the dates on that? Uh, just through the 7th, which is tomorrow, Oh, okay. well, all right, too, too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Those dates are gonna be passed by the time you're watching this. <laughs> but we just happen to be here the weekend that we can do a free sea lion feeding. So we're gonna go print off that ticket, get some fish, and chuck them over a wall. Here we go, here's our fish. I got four fish for me, four fish for Amy. <laughs> Chuck it again. As we were leaving, the lady back there just said, this is Pinniped Point. If you look here to your right, you're going to see lions. <laughs> and now we're going on a walk, huh? Kid free, we're gonna enjoy a kid free walk around this beautiful park without having to yell at our kids every five seconds to get off that wall. Stop touching that bush. Stop grabbing each other. There is a lot that goes on behind the scenes that doesn't make it into these videos usually when we're here with my kids, just so you know. I know they look adorable and so well behaved on camera, but that's because I edit out all the misbehavior. <laughs> they, they are normal kids. <laughs> We were recently at Henry Dorley's Omaha Zoo checking out their aquarium and they have some king penguins, which are the second largest penguin uh, aside from the emperor, which we have here at SeaWorld San Diego. And if you wanna see that whole video, I'll go ahead and link to it right now. You can check out the Henry Dorley Zoo. It was honestly probably the best zoo we've ever been to. You'll wanna check it out for sure. And here are some big emperors. Oh yeah, okay. So the king is right there, and an emperor is right here. You can see the size difference right there. Aw, oh, the puffins are open again. There's been a wall here for the longest time. I'm so happy it's down. The puffins are so cute. The glass is just a little dirty, so I can't see them very well. The Omaha Zoo kept their aquarium, their glass, their exhibits pristine. They were 
gorgeous. And you could see the penguins. Yeah, that back there is just nasty and dirty. It's like, come on, somebody go in there and clean that. Some new signage over here at Wild Arctic too. I just, I love it. I love the new designs. You know, right through here is where they used to have their um, motion simulator. If you did not know, they were going to put a roller coaster in here to replace it, and then that project got canceled uh, during the COVID time just due to financial shortages. However, within the last like two months, that project has been revived, and roller coaster track has started showing up in the parking lot here at SeaWorld. So that project is back on. We're going to have a roller coaster Yay! in Wild Arctic. At least uh, somewhere. At least somewhere. I don't know how it's going to work just yet, uh, but hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all SeaWorld San Diego news as well as on that coaster because we'll be providing you updates as we get them. All right, it's 12.06 and Emperor is open. We just saw it going. It's a five minute wait. Five minutes, two hours in the park opening. And here is the wait. Not too bad, not too bad. It's like, here we go, Amy. <laughs> Reaction shot time. <laughs> uh, it was just like the middle row or something. What a gorgeous view from up here. <laughs> I've never noticed the music before. What's that? We call music. Oh. <laughs> That was your first time in the front row in a while. I managed to drag you on. What'd you think? It was okay. It was the, the, okay. The, 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 like sitting there waiting to drop is like. That's the best the part. Front. That is literally the best part. I love the wait before the drop. Ah, Emperor. Front row, back row. What do you think? Front row is scarier in the sense that you can see the drop type of thing. But back row, I feel like that drop is more intense actually because you have light. You get more air time in the back row? in the back row. I'm still a front row guy all the way. I love being able to see everything, especially when you're hanging. That's the best part about Emperor. 55 minutes for Electric Eel. Wow. I mean, Electric Eel always gets high wait times. I've seen it up to 100, of course. But that's just, you know, compared to Emperor, which was 10 minutes. Wow, uh, but they do have two ride vehicles for Emperor, so they can load and go at the same time. You'd think that would just be half as fast, but still, Emperor is way better, in my opinion, and less of a line, so, yeah. The turtles are over here eating. Got some lettuce. And one of them's like blowing water out of his nose. Decided to come down here to the waterfront and uh, have a seat. And this cloud bank is just pretty insane. We've been watching it for a little while. It is super fast moving clouds and it just stretches all the way around, like all the way over there. It's just not above us, but, but wow, is that a monster cloud bank? Uh, and it's staying just outside of SeaWorld's range. Well, that is it for our time here at SeaWorld San Diego. We checked out the mobile ordering, thought it was pretty great, definitely better than standing in line. Got to ride loads of rides today, having not having the kids here with us, and uh, enjoyed really feeding those sea lions. So thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also, check out this video from Electric Ocean if you missed it when I posted it a few months ago. There's still some time left on that event. See you again next time.